Uh, the next morning comes. Um, obviously, Ward, Rowan, you and know, three guards, you're alive. Um, you, Luda, and Vesper, uh, as everybody's loaded up the wagons, getting a little breakfast in them. Um, Alvin, you notice, has jumped on cart number uh seven that's the one in front of us um no that's no. three wagons in front of you okay and uh it's kind of strange to you because you've never seen anybody let them on a wagon so you imagine maybe he's he's made, he's made a pretty good amount but uh within an hour of breaking camp you guys are on the road and before you know it you come across uh, these guys. They've already tipped the wagon back over, loaded it back up. Or no. <clears throat> yeah. So, well, I imagine. And uh, they're perfectly fine. So, um, the uh, the three, the wagon that he's at, and the two wagons in front of him, they load up his stuff and cram as much of it as possible on their wagons. <laughs> While this is going on, uh, what was his name? Uh, Al Alvin. Alvin. Yeah. Alvin. I'm gonna let him know to hire better guards next time. Maybe ones that won't steal his wares while he's away. You about to get killed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Just kind of looks like. What do you mean? Um, Count your inventory. Um, he's like, well, it's kind of hard to do. I mean, I don't know what was broken, what was not. Bottles that are uncorked and not broken. What bottle? They're cast. Yeah, I mean, you're not there. I thought we were all, we're there. all there. I pulled Alton aside to let him know. Well, he's on a cart, man. He ain't getting off that cart to do work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, if you, you're you going to pull him off to the side, I mean, you're going to have to try to talk him into it. I mean, he's not the one that's going to move It's off supposed to just be like, a, as I'm walking by, by the way. Okay, if you can tell him that, that's fine. And uh, when you tell him to, he's like, all right, I mean, unless you're going to tell him the whole story. Nah. You're not going to do it all? <coughs> I don't know what happened to basically. Not enough to where I got to be fair, I did say that I was going to pay for it. <laughs> I didn't, well, me personally, I didn't hear that. Roland might have, so. So, you going to tell him the whole story or not? <clears throat> sure. Okay. i let him know. They were drinking on his wares last night. Yeah. All right. Um, now you get all of off the cart. Um, as they're all up stuff, uh, he asks for a moment of your time. Oh, yes, I need to speak to you anyways. I owe you for a bottle of wine. It was a long night. So, okay, I was just told that you were... I didn't say he stole it. I said that it was stolen by his, like, his guard. Well, I wasn't. I was a fan of well, the vintage. Because after, after I wasn't I was a fan of the vintage, so I gave it to the others. So, but still, I'm not open to this. So I still owe you for it, right? Yeah. And, uh, how much is it? Thirty gold. Like, for vinegar. <laughs> how, how about fine? How about a life-saving discount? What about a life-saving discount? You got that last night. That was more vinegar than me. My hand was pretty go. So, see, all taken care of. He's like, it's a good day. I've got my stuff loaded up. <laughs> Made some money. Made some money. <laughs> Whose horses did you buy? Um, he, I didn't buy no one's horses. Uh, these fine people on these wagons, uh, I bought my way in. They're not carrying my wares. That's what this one is. I just hope we keep the asshole behind, that's all. So, um, he didn't meet anybody that was an yeah. asshole. He didn't get that far. Oh, he's close to yeah. that by the bear. Yeah, he's like two wagons behind. Well, so. speak of the bear, I'm pretty sure he wants his cheese. Hello? He pop it off now. So, um, and he, well, he'll thank you. And, um, he'll give you five gold pieces. Oh, he'll give thank you, you very much. Five gold pieces. <laughs> for staying at night. That's half a ten man. Well, yeah, it is. Okay, so let's again speed this up, and then we'll let you. Huh? That hurt. Well, uh, <laughs> me 
I'm not the kind of person to tell on somebody, but roll it is. <laughs> that That's right. I already had that little it's thing right here anyway. <laughs> it's all part of the game. Um, we're going to speed up three days unless somebody's got anything we'll they want to do. Yeah. Um, I know you said something about this girl. Uh, I'll do that during like one of the uh, one when we stop to eat. Kind of thing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Just you, a, well, I'm skipping days unless you've got something you want to do. I'm still messing. You need to roll me a charisma <laughs> check. It's been a couple of days. Drinking some wine with her. Village wine. <laughs> oh, <yeah! laughs> uh, somebody's drawing the attention of the boys. <laughs> Bringing all the boys to the yard. <laughs> um, I will say with that 20 <laughs> that you snag her affection. Yes. It's been a couple days. Um, she's very awkward about it. It's completely different for her. Um, but yeah, when you snag her affections, you're a fucking whore. <laughs> I mean, God. Um, rolling in, in these three days, when are you going to go talk to this girl that was keeping an eye on you guys? Uh, during like. The, uh, I need three. You have three days. Three. You need to give me one, two, or three. So I'm so not aware of it. One. First one's the first day, so the next girl. day, you're going to go talk to her. Um, she met, is like up on wagon number <laughs> four at this time. She's on wagon four. That's the she's the third wagon in line up from front. So you're just going to make one pair and talk to her? Andy. Yeah, like during one of the meal things, I'll bring an extra ration. Um, talk to her, be polite. You get close to her, and she sees you coming, and you can tell she's almost like kind of looking away. Oh, she likes you, bro. It's okay. So, uh, you're going to offer her what you got? Put her yeah, offer her right <laughs> she, she, she don't say anything. She's waving her hand and tries to dismiss you. Be the nut of flowers. Just completely, completely like, yeah. shy, or? She's acting very shy. Yeah, give her a rose. Be Sir Loris. Um, one of the guys, a uh, young human about her age, says, uh, I don't think she's interested. He's kind of laugh. He's kind of laughing about the whole thing. She seemed curious. Yeah, he's like, well, who here's not curious about everybody here? We've so that's an interesting caravan. I mean, you got a bear in the back, a gargoyle on the front. Uh, apparently, I hear you guys saved these guys we picked up this morning. Um, we've got some guy who's shooting magic out of a crossbow. I mean, it's them, it's them, it's not them, it's them. I mean, this is, uh, there's a, all types of people to be curious about. I mean, he's like, and, Big scar on your neck kind of stands out. Yeah. How'd you get that? Uh, just say, having always been the fighter that I am now. Mm. And he says, uh, so good. Sticks his hand out. He says, uh, name's Besid Pamon. Besid Pamon. I want to tell you a scar with like a cut here thing. <laughs> it's still pretty fresh too, because it ain't been but a few weeks since the green no, right? It's been, it no, it's been more than that. No, it's longer than that. That's why I keep it up with the dates. Okay, if this is the next day, this would be the fourth of flame rule. All that happened over a month ago. And you guys have been traveling for quite a while. Uh, it was burning in the crisis before you even had the The set. Uh, he. Human well, male? Yeah, he's human. He, um, I guess the best way to describe him, he looks kind of Egyptian. He looks He's from the South. Counterpoint. Racist. <laughs> He's like, well, he's like, obviously, if uh, you weren't good with the weapon, you wouldn't be here. He's like, obviously, you got to be better than myself. I mean, if you're making some gold here. Uh, I'm actually, he's like, I'm here hoping. And he's like, I'm it's actually just traveling time. along. Nobody, hired, nobody would hire and Me either. He's like, but... People tend to die on the road, so might need a replacement. You might need a replacement. That's the only reason I'm here. Living off what I can until it happens. So I uh, said, uh, "Best of luck to you. Thank I'll you. be there to take that spot before you." Rolling, uh, yeah. Rolling his hand out. Yeah. Shake. 
Um, what were his contemplating starting that caravan after this is all over? Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe. Uh, we're going to make this Adventure? Oh, man. Oh, a merchant. Uh, you go to leave. You can probably get a wagon or two down. You kind of turn around and look at him, and you see her watching you leave. I'll wink at her. She turns her head real quick. Damn, you look at you, man. Oh, oh, fucking can't sneak some wine, but he can fuck some bitches out of the rock. rock. Look at him, man. Corn don't care about this shit. Oh, God. That was in my ass. Um, <laughs> so this is the next He's day. He's caricature of oh, the uh, reach weapon, too. Yeah, after the event. <laughs> Um, is there anything anybody else wants to do? Check on my still, feed the bear, take some notes. You know, I will hunt with Grizzly. I mean, yeah, one of them. Can, I mean, one's down. But if there's anything major you guys want to do, we'll go ahead and speed her up. Nothing major. No. She's very out of her element right now. Yeah, you are very out of her element. Um, everybody move their stuff here. Yeah, we're about to yeah, slide those down, space them out. Put me about 15 foot in between them. <coughs> Put that one on the very end. Scoot this one. Give about 10 foot. 10 foot in between them. 10 foot in between them. There we go. Even better. Uh, I'll see this one. Oh, playing Wagon Trail. On. Yeah, it's the Oregon Trail. Go ahead, Scoot. Oregon Trail. This wrong. is y'all's. I was that dysentery, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the shits come for you. I actually uh, recently bought the newer version, or in the trail with the zombies. <laughs> um, camp's breaking down. <clears throat> Night's coming along. So bad, son, could you? Uh, oh, you're getting into some wooded areas here in the troll wars. Uh, found that tree over there. There's some trees and stuff around here. And the troll moors, as the, you start to do the thick of the hills, there's a lot of uh, trees around. Uh, everybody's sitting, breaking up in the camp. <clears throat> what are you doing for the night? Anybody? Maybe um, next one, Matilda, work, uh, bobbing around with Rupert. Uh, well, I'm not a hired guard, so I'm probably just going to be. Yeah, you are completely, you and Ord are completely free to do anything. I just protect the caravan, what I'd like to be. Probably going to be like setting up. <clears throat> it's for the night, so I'm looking for somewhere to sleep, probably near one of the trees, you know. I mean, you can sleep by the wagon, you can sleep by a tree. Um, I'm probably curled up in one of the wagon corners, trying to hide and rest. Okay. Um, I think she'd be growing like weary, maybe getting exhausted, because she probably does not sleep well on this trail. She's not used to this. Well, you've been on it for She's used to like 18 days yeah. now, so. You probably should pass out of exhaustion or something. Right? Yeah, so she's probably sleeping, but not very well. I wouldn't think she would be. Well, I wouldn't. She's all city life, and she's been in danger before, but not like this. Well, yeah, I'd say none of you have ever really, you have once in your life, rougher than this, probably, escaping. But yeah, this I mean this is different probably for all of you guys. But uh yeah, it's it's a good little tidbit for your character there. And she's never seen a troll. Well, I hear what like Grizzly told her. Nature. She's probably terrified yeah. of those things. Well then he's just coming for fire. So how's Lord Bustier then? You guys are pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. Yeah. At twenty did the trick, I would count that as two. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, what, what are you you're trying to be like? Hey, we need some vagina. Uh, no, because I probably need to no. wash. No, <laughs> yeah. probably, you know, like, well, in this day, just and age, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, why, why do you have why do you gotta play? Oh, never mind. You already fucked a guy and you're playing a chick, so never mind. Yeah. Never mind. God, I'll fuck anything. <laughs> 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 I'll fuck the word. I gave me the wrong problem. Orton's not a day that is coming out of the system. I was forced to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, so as guards, how are you two doing your shifts at night? Um, doesn't matter if you want to take first, I'll take second. I'll take first shift. Okay. He's okay. taking first, I'll go second. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, well, here's the thing. There's only two of you guys, so how long are you taking your shifts? about what I mean how long are we stopped for the night about okay the, well you, you travel for about eight hours a day so we'll say that you settle down about take off about eight in the morning and you stop <coughs> about four or five in the afternoon well didn't he have the 
the gnome too? What is he? No, uh, he's just a steamster. Helps him get everything oh, together okay. and whatnot. I mean, he's constantly digging through y'all stuff. You guys have got to the point where you're just like, hey, he's tearing my shit. I mean, he's very nosy. I don't remember if you guys remember that. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, you've literally got from, it's an eight hour, so we'll just say four in the afternoon until eight the next morning. So you've got like 16 hours. So I guess we'll break up in eight hour shifts. Yeah, we'll have to. So you're, you're, you're taking the first watch? Mm-hmm. You're taking the last watch. Okay, now, Ord and Roller, what do you guys do in these 16 hours? Socializing, eating. Where do you sleep is a better question. Like, do you try to switch up with these two on shifts, or do you do your own thing? By the way, you guys have five gold pieces apiece. You've already passed 10 days. Give yourself 10 because you're about to hit your 20th. Did you say when or where? Yeah, I mean, do you do you help them guys actually guard? You said you were, yeah. right? So do you want to add him to your shift? If they I mean, ask, you want to be on the ship? Yeah. They they ask for help, okay. he definitely helps. Okay, well, if he's not, he's just, Roland's just socializing, you know, getting to know. So you're going to ask Roland to help then, too? I mean, if he wants to, I figure me and Ord, we've become pretty good friends, so we're probably on the same shift together. We'll probably take those eight hours. Okay. And your and job is to guard Luda. Yeah. That was then. That well, was yeah, really different right now. I just, who knows and always This is what her whole thing turned into. Yeah. Something small turned into something big. Yeah. But I mean, it's up to you. They're not really asking you. Nah, it's, he'll spend his time socializing with everybody. That gargle stay stand up the whole night. Yeah. They don't need to sleep. Yeah, to okay, I forget. I think I asked that before. They turn so what are the rolling the come back from time to time yeah. and speak to oh, so on a story. And they take, they take names from yeah. historical yeah. things in New York. Whatever like, direction he's yeah. looking, so I, I guess so I'll take a watch. I'll take a watch the other direction because another thing yells. Back. So. Yeah. Okay. I would like to do a little bit, like, just check the card for maintenance stuff because I'm assuming I have experience preparing wagons for the white hammer. Rolling, what time do you probably usually go to sleep at night since you're not a guard, since you're not helping guarding? Eight o'clock. Like what time does the sun go down? Six. six. He goes to bed at six, wakes up at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> hey, he's lazy at all first. I mean, when, when do you think you go to bed? Eight or nine. Eight or nine. What time in the morning usually do you get up? Do we still meditate in here? Do the they reverie? Sleep? Yeah, I think so. Four hour meditation. So you can meditate four hours. So. You sleep longer than that. Yeah. You don't have to. I'm half elf. Oh, you're yeah, half elf. Yeah, he's half. Uh, so what, what do you, what do you think? Nine hours later. Nine hours later. Six a.m. So about six a.m. Awesome. All right. So, you where do you sleep? Uh, when I'm not on watch, I will be in one of the caravans in one of the corners. So like between wagon wheels or something. Yes. She's very scared out here. Okay. Where I do you imagine sleep? there's people sleeping under wagons too. Probably, yeah. Where do you sleep? You sleep around these guys. Yeah, I'll stay around the people I know when I sleep. Okay, I'm going to put you here because you're going to be underneath the wagon. Do you just sleep around the wagon? Pretty much. Okay. Unless I'm told to go on somewhere. Somebody's <laughs> snoozing. I skip with the bear. What you guys? Uh, <laughs> how do you guys guard the what wagon? Name? One uh, on each side. Because yeah. Luda's been watching the back. What was his name? Uh, uh, him? Well, we have That's, one, like, four, yeah, one side, four, like one back. Yeah. Yeah, and then he wakes up and finds both his arms and his head cut them with the bear. <laughs> Ford probably sleeps on the bear. Well, like, Ford has a hard time sleeping. Yeah. Like with the bear, he does that order out to serve anybody. It's soft. Very soft. Okay. Um, so you guys are watching. I need hearing perception. I got this. I had this. Thirteen. You hear thunder off in the distance, this direction. Was it me? You, you kind of look around, and every now and then, some of the other guards kind of look around the caravan, and you see other people like, "What in the world is that?" Make me a visual perception. What's that lizard called? Oh, Ballas. No. You don't see anything. And there's a lot of trees around. That's why I asked. The thunder gets louder so and louder. Yeah. Uh, you, okay, go ahead. I, 
I'm just gonna go over to. You can hear the thunder now. It's oh. loud. I'm gonna go over to Grizzly and wake him up if he's not already awake. Uh, yeah, you can wake him up. And I'll be like, it sounds like there's a storm coming. Okay, he wakes Grizzly up. What do you do? If I can hear the thunder, does yeah, you can hear it's loud. Can I, I see, see the, the sky? Pass. Yeah. Is it clearer? It is. Got it. Giants. We just pass. You say that, and you hear the gargoyle scream. One of the guys says, Giants! Roll me initiative. Oh, Lord. I thought he was going to say Carmel Anthony. No. He... <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. Warriors better be ready. Damn. <laughs> killing it with these 20s today, bro. On the wrong roll. On the wrong Well, actually, actually, with... Because you can always hold your initiative on in a turn for someone else to move as well. So you have the best initiative. Well, with the word boost, yeah, I will do that 20. So that was right here. Oh, yeah. uh, so you got like protector? I'm a protector. Oh. I got to protect the wagon, too, though. I got to do that. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, let me find where I need here. So what to do your job and your pussy, which one do you protect first? All right. Pussy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boy, you guys, I'm you on the initiatives. I need the bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luda. Seven. Vesper. Twenty-three. Again, that's what you had last time. Forty. Eleven. Um, I've got a. Okay, rolling. Three. All right. Um, no one called it, but yeah, you think giants, and then you hear somebody. Down the wagon line, yell giants. Now, this is just your area, but it sweeps in from this side. Um, I would say that you've probably studied giants. Being in the area that you are, you know giants. From these trees, this massive hill giant with these two ogres come running at your wagon. When you're looking down at everybody, you see this all from the side. Hill giants and ogres, these things. And there's all like three for each wagon. Definitely an organized assault. Shit. We're going to do that. Best bird. You say, oh shit, you had the initiative. All right, well. <clears throat> So is everybody else still asleep or are, are they awake? Uh, you're starting to see people get up, but these I mean, things just come. Uh, yeah, because okay. someone's yelled giant. They're starting some more. But this their turn, they're going to have to wake up and whatnot. But okay. it is your turn. Okay. I mean, you turn to look uh, and they're right there coming through the trees and whatnot. I'm going to grab my hand because they're pretty close, right? Right. It's okay. a good way for you. I'm going to yeah. grab my hand crossbow and I'm going to pop off. Two shots into him with that thing. All right, you are right ahead. Is that some moves? Is this your manager? Yeah. Do you remember last time uh, I played that manager for the hill giant? Mm -hmm. I one shot it. Fifteen. Fifteen hits it. Okay. Yeah, I had a I had a cleric like a warrior cleric. One shot at hill giant. Nine points of damage. Okay. And then I want to use my bonus action to hide. Okay. Well, here's the thing. It's clear because this is a wagon. This is a road. It's a road. And this is the coast way. But you've got trees on each side. You've got hills. I mean, you can hide. You can hide behind the wagon. Yeah, underneath the, the, wagon. the wagon. Yeah, I'll try to hide underneath the wagon. Or okay, wherever you want to hide. I'm just saying, you've got space around you. The closest thing would be a wagon. It's up to you. Is, is the wagon tall enough where I can crouch underneath it? No, it's... About this half of the ground, like a table. So I can crouch. Yeah, you, you can yeah, you crouch. Yeah, I'm going to try to, like, stealth and double. Roll me a hide. 19. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> 26. 26. Okay, 26. 26. All right. Uh, Oru, you think giants? Like up footsteps? <laughs> About that time you heard someone yell giants, and you just see a bunch of them. Ogres. For every two ogres is a hill giant. They come rushing through these trees on this side. I yell out. You're asleep and you're asleep, right? Oh no, they're awake. Okay, okay. just <laughs> I mean they're yeah. awake now. Right. I yell out two grizzly giants and I can I use my bonus axe and cast sanctuary on him. Okay. And who you guys that on? Grizzly. Grizzly Jones. Sanctuary. Awesome. 
They have to do a wisdom saving order. You're gonna take a movement or anything? Um, I'm going to take a shot off at the hill giant. Okay. Which one? The same one that just got popped with an arrow? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So ogre. Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen hits him. Nine. Eleven. Wait, no plus three. Fourteen. Fourteen. Alright. Um that's a great thing. Their turn. Uh whoo. Alright. It's the only way I have to do this. You're hidden, right? Yeah, let's see if uh they see you. One of them sees you. I wrote a twenty. Yeah, that's a 27. I was like, man, I'm trying to freaking hide you. So, oh, wait, no, I need to add modifiers. Never mind. You're all right. Oh, okay. cool. But here, here, but the, oh, well, I this is actually iron. bad. <laughs> um, this is what makes it worse. You guys are groggy because you're like, what? What makes it worse is I was asleep. Rolling broke me out. Nestor, what are you doing under the wagon? I'm like, you don't have to put your armor on. That makes you exhausted yeah. when you wake up. I don't think they do that anymore. Um, they do it enough. <laughs> They all three come to this side of the wagon. Roland, make me a strength check with disadvantage. Did I have to pick your ass up, bro? Yeah. That'll be it. Flip. Me 12. <laughs> okay. Roll me a strength check with disadvantage. I'm going to try to squash you. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, strength. You sitting there trying to let <laughs> My strength's a 10, so if I roll 220, this is that for me. No. Six. Okay, um, Vesper, you're underneath this wagon, right? You're looking at the other side. You're sleeping like up butt against the wagon yeah. wheel, and you're just laying there. These two ogres run up, grab them, and throw them. They throw you guys? They throw both of them away from the wagon. Can you magic missile in the nuts? <sighs> yes, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he cast his fly on me, I think. <laughs> you you got from 60 feet. Ow. For 10 damage rolling. If you get thrown. I'm a lot lighter now, this 40 feet. Why not? Hey, hey, at least you didn't hit a tree. <laughs> right? The tree broke. <laughs> for 3 damage or 40 <laughs> So that worked out for you. Um, or if you're sitting there, he starts freaking out. The bear starts roaring. You see him, the jump hill giant, one arm, grab a crate and stuff it underneath his arm. Luda, you're groggy and now you're hurting. You just got tossed by this thing you didn't even really see. You opened your eyes and there it was and this giant hand grabbed you and threw you. Um, uh, all I'm really gonna be able to do is get up and then do a move action. Um, uh, I'm gonna get up and uh, do a move action up behind the word, and I'm gonna look over here and see what I see. Okay, now when you get up, it's just like half your movement to get up. Oh, okay. And then you still got part of your movement, so you still got 15 foot of movement. Well, I'll just go. Okay, well, I move over here, and uh, what kind of weapons do I see them carrying? Um, they've got clubs, giant tree okay. trunks, basically. Um, now, if you make any type of attack, you roll it on your turns, you're groggy. You get disadvantage. I got you. Um, I'm trying to look at the flares. You, um, you look around. I got some spells I can do. You look around, and this is having gone down the wagons. If people, you just seen people getting thrown. I want to cast Blade Ward on myself, where if I do get hit again, it's only half damage. Okay. Um, Leave it, yeah, for like five. Roll it. You wake up, and you look to see this massive thing grab you and throw you into a tree. I'm going to throw it him. I'm scared to death. This is happening all around you. I'm going to move, man. I'm later have a question. Like, much later. Okay. Mm -hmm. I assume I don't have my gear. You have to go on you. Yeah, if you sleep in your armor, sure, but you won't have no weapons. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Smite with a punch. Oh my shit. god, yes. yes. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Remember now. Remember when I played Center Dragon yeah, and the Shelter Child? Box. I played a Monk Paladin, man. That was that cool. That door box? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I rocked the room with that bad boy, too. I crit it. Can you get it there? Was that when the ooze broke around? I had 15 more feet. Oh, yeah. I got the board so, 
Yeah, I think so. Can't do that now, but <laughs> definitely move closer. Okay. Like I said, this is all happening down this side of it. I'm gonna hide it with a double move. Touch with the kneecap. Um, as you're running, um, doesn't hit you. Roll reflex save. No, never mind. It doesn't mm. hit you. Fire burst from right behind you, and you feel the heat as the wizard in front launches a fireball to giants behind his cart and fucking sets them on fire. There's another, there's a knight out there that they've had words with last game. Speaking is free action, right? Mm hmm I encourage this, I encourage this, uh, uh, action by him. Nope. Vesper. <laughs> You're under the car, and literally, you see <laughs> Roland and Vesper, Roland and Luda get snatched up. You don't know where Vesper and Luda went, but you see Roland fly and hit this tree. Okay, um, this is the one I hit, right? Uh, yes. Oh, so right. I'm going to buy him and give you a... I'm going... No, we're not flanking. is too powerful for the variant rules. I'm going... Gives you advantage on your tax. Oh, God. Yeah, our game, I was a rogue. I'm out of torsion. That also makes a lot of things very... Right. I'm going to fire my two shots into him. Okay. Let's roll at the same time, so I take it. Both 14s. Both okay. 14 plus 5. Okay. So and one of them sneak attack. Yep. It's the one that's, he's already got a whirl in him, and uh, he's been blasted with magic. Is that, is that thunder damage at first, or is it lightning? It's two piercing, one thunder. Say what? The projectile itself is piercing, but my magic augments thunder into it. All right. Go ahead. Mm. I think. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the first one, which is sneak attack, and then on the second one, eleven to him. Uh, then uh, six more damage. Six more damage on top of that. Yeah. Uh, this thing howls out in pain as uh, you just pump some more quarrels into him, right in the kneecap. You wouldn't even expect it. And then you shoot him in the balls. <laughs> and then I want to, because uh, I can. I can uh, dash or disengage. He's going to get you huh. if you move. He's got attack opportunity on you because he's up on you now. Because you're under the car and he's up against the car and he knows you're there. You just shot him. Okay. You just made yourself go. Um, Sorry. I'll disengage. Disengage backwards all the way. Backwards all the way. Yeah. So very easy. Yeah. Uh, you see Vesper pop out from underneath the wagon. Take off running. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my motherfucker. <laughs> um, their turn. Um, he clubs the bear. That's when you're like, oh, hell. He clubs. What's the sanctuary? What do I need? Now you have to do a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you sanctuary the bear? Or, or, the or else they can't attack that person that choose someone. Okay, else. he has an eight, so I'm sure he's not going to make that. Yeah. But he's sitting here swinging on him, and he just can't seem to do it. And Grizzly's like, what in the world? He's like, he's <laughs> you a little bit. But this one <laughs> is plowing into this bear with this club. He's just beating into the bear. He grabs something else out of the cart, sticks it up underneath his arm, the old giant does. He's getting awfully close to my steel, and I don't like it. That's, uh... I'm glad you said that. How is this guy looking, though? Is he pretty bloody? He starts grabbing parts of it. I run 80%. Uh, man, yeah, he's looking pretty hurt. Right. Um, well, Ord, it would be your turn. Dang. 24 to hit the hill giant that scribes my steel. Uh, him? Yeah. And I want you all to put it down. Uh, you speak Dwarven? That's a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Oh, I mean, are you saying you're Dwarven? Yeah. Okay. He <laughs> doesn't understand you. Mm. Oh. So, nine damage. Nine damage. All right. Hey, do you anything else? Um, I have to use my bonus X to reload, so no. Luda. This is pretty, pretty sweet right here. I flipped up. I mean, I am the only bear. <laughs> yes. Bumping a second little spell into it. 
Luther, automobile, that's you. <laughs> Let's not forget, guys, we are supposed to guard the stuff in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm talking about uh, 11, 16, he'll I'm not even a guard. Right. <laughs> um, half of his wounds, he'll Sweet. Roll with him. Okay, I assume my weapon's on the other side of this creature. Oh, yeah, it's underneath them, in between them. So I am going to have to punch with a smite. So one damage plus your smite. Two. So how many spells you blow in here? Okay, first level or second level? I only got one. Oh, I want to give a bardic inspiration, inspiration, inspiration dive right. for the bear. Pretty little behind. Huh? I want to give a bardic inspiration dive to the bear. Sure. You do that. I'm rolling still, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's four. Thirteen. Oh, so awesome. no, you're not at a disadvantage anymore. Oh. I'll just, yeah, it don't matter. One of them is gonna probably going to hit, so we'll just keep them. Go ahead. Okay, uh, 16? Yeah, 16 is easy. So 1 plus 2 D8. Uh, yeah. Plus three. Plus three. Fifteen. Thank you, man. Uh, nope, he's still up. Fifteen damage straight to the nuts with a thunderous smile. Man, you just go up, cream this thing in the back, and it hollers out, and it, like, drops down to a knee. Like, it's struggling to get it, hold itself up. Um, he starts hacking into this one. Grizzly does. Hits and hits. The bear swaps at this one as it falls right across the throat, rips its throat out. You get them good! I got um, a little cheese for you. The bear is my die. Okay, you guys are looking around. That's for you, because you just rolled back. And you see every quarter, these two smaller giants are fighting everybody. The bigger giant is stealing stuff from the cart. You notice this. Focus on the big guy. I'm gonna yell it out. It is your turn. They're all big. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They're all big. I don't know if you're wrong for a bear, but if you want to, you can add the D6 to the time. I'm just wrong. I'm the I love it all. I'm so into this. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm about to magic missile his big ass. Okay, magic missile. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Um, you hit him and he just seems not to care. I mean, uh, it's their turn. Um, who speaks to giant? I do not. An orcish? Common open. Um, Common open. you see him grab something else off the cart? Damn. I wrote a 20 for this ogre. The ogre pets one hand of the cart, puts his other cloak, and flips it over on you guys. Everybody here, roll me a uh, dexterity check. I'm back far enough, right? I know, he's flipping it. Oh, he's flipping it. He's flinging it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you ever seen a car wreck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good. Or low. Or do you need one also? I did, I rolled 19. Oh, that's good. Just dexterity, or we're doing yeah, it's a de it's dexterity check. Okay. So, uh, nine. Okay, so you, Kurt, and Grizzly all be 15. The bear breaks free of its straps because it's pulling up a, a, against what he is. Grizzly bears off, bells off. You jump out of the way as he takes and flings this cart and it rolls both of you over. Yep. How much damage? <laughs> It's like being in a car wreck. I'm sure it's going to be severe. 24 damage. That was pretty high. Fuck. I'm fucking almost dead. Um, I'm at zero hit points. Sure ones. Uh, he, the giant, takes, he yells, and language you understand, takes off running know. back through the forest. You leap out of the way as this ogre chunks this wagon and it rolls over Luda and Vesper. Um... It's on top of them. It's on top of them? The wagon is on top of them. You handle the wagon, I'll handle the healing. You this ogre is still, still, still here. Oh, the ogre is still there. Yeah, yeah, he's I'm still there, there by the way. Still there, but I don't think I'm strong enough to pick the wagon up. I honestly don't think I am. Yeah, no, you just yeah. seen this thing just, yeah. Yeah. Rawr, he just locked shit. And it only went that far because I remember pointing my die. So. <laughs> I want to attack the ogre and yell at uh, Roland to get over here. 
Get over here! Get over here! Uh, 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 Logan's armor becomes yellow and black. This one has not been touched yet. 14. 14 hits him. Grizzly's attacking. No, this one. Yeah. No, no, nothing's touched him yet. That, that one. That's what I want everybody to 14 on. damage too. 14 damage? Alright. Um. <laughs> Luda, you're under this wagon. You either need to make me, you need to make me a strength check to get out I'm of dead. there. I gotta make a death save. Oh, I'm gonna make those. Sweet. Yep. Alrighty. Mm. Would Morton's heart kick in automatically? Mm -hmm. oh. No, it doesn't. You have to activate it. Uh, Rolling. You just seen dying. this ogre flip this over on everybody. What, what are you looking up? Uh, yeah. Play on hands. Action or bonus action? Yeah, I think it's an action. It's an action. Play like bonus action for you. Or action to use on somebody else. Play on hands is only a paladin action. Paladin thing. So. That's what I'm saying. I think it's like if you do it on yourself, it's a free action. No, no, it's just an action. Is this an action now? Okay, never mind. I knew it changes it. We're I thought you were going to talk about an arc. Because here's the question. Is Roland, does Roland care that you are down right now? Or does he care about this thing attacking you? Put it this way. Roll me perception. You might not even see me very wise. Well, I did yell for him to get over here. Yeah, but he, yeah. you didn't say why. You just said get over here. 22. You did see both hit, hurt both Vesper and Luda get hit by the wagon, and you don't see them anywhere. So you're going to assume that they're probably somewhere underneath the wagon. Right. You see an arm and a leg sticking out from underneath the wagon. <clears throat> Grab the leg. <laughs> Right over there, what are you doing? Oh, no, you sweep the leg. I'm going to reach down. I'm going to grab the leg. I don't feel any pulse or anything. It's just like, you know, mm -hmm. very badly hurt. Lay on hands, 20. Okay. Um, Can I, as a bonus action, as I'm running by, scoop up my glaive? Man, okay, everything's chaotic right now. That's my thing. And because um, the next action would roll me some percentiles. You're on me a 51 or above, I'll say you do. You do. I snatch up your glaive. Uh, Grizzly hits him, hits the ogre once. Third misses both times. Vesper, you're underneath this wagon. You need a strength check to get out from underneath it. You need a 10. You got it. Okay, so Completely maybe. drag yourself out from the wagon. Uh, you get to your feet. Alright, can I punch that board and start? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Punch it and all the back up. Um, Their turn. Swing and a swing. Bear misses, but Grizzly hits as this ogre turns around and looks it. Um, you start seeing a lot of the other ones do. Uh, no, I won't say that because you're all busy. You're all you were a while ago because you were getting away. But they start. He starts booking it behind that giant. Um, Orin. I'm going. You. What are you doing? I'm moving up where I can keep a shot on them. Okay. Um, they're up. Uh, they're behind some trees. You can't see them. They they already took back off the way they came. They got big movements. They're giants, and the hill giant swung going. I mean, he was the last round. Then I'm gonna start. Then I'm gonna try to pick up the cart so he can pull her out. Okay, you can do that. Yeah, because he's done booked at eighty foot through the woods, so I mean, he's got some pretty good cover. You love me plus one. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. Pick up the cart, and there's Luda, and she's. A little looking worse for wear. Well, I just uh, get everybody, everybody wrote me perception here. <clears throat> 20. Uh, oh. Wow. 21. 18. Um, <laughs> um, you hear some people say chase them down. Some people are like check on your wounded. The wizard that you run with, you just see him just launch a fireball out to the woods. Yeah, awesome. I mean, well, part of the woods around you are already on fire for yeah. him. I mean, because he's been slinging spells. 
burn it all down. Okay, Luda, it is your turn. You're kind of hearing mixed emotions from everybody down the caravan. The, you know, go cut them down. Um, you got to get to your feet. The first thing I'm looking for is Vesper because I know she went under the wagon last night. She's already up on the other side of it. Um, from a perception. Uh, eight. No, you're just kind of, you're still kind of out of it from being hit by this wagon. Yeah, so it is your turn. Yeah, if I don't, if I, I'm gonna, I want to get up and look for her. If I don't see her, I will attend to my own wounds, which is used to heart to heal me seven more points. Okay, you, yeah, you see an ogre, dead ogre when you get up. Rolling. Yeah. It is your turn. You hear the thunder off in the distance. And these giant footsteps. Nothing I can do about chasing them down the road faster ch- than I You am. could chase them if you want. I'm not saying you have to. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, so he's kind of like putting that off and he's going to start looking for wounded. Okay, uh, you're going to like take off down the car. Yeah. Okay, does anybody here plan on chasing these giants? I'm going to ask Grizzly. No. His we, nerves. Mm-mm. I plan on oh. checking on curves. We're, we're, al- we're lucky we're even alive. I mean, it's his good, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. Me and him are hired on. He's like, so. he's like, no, lives of people are more important than what they took. I tell him I'm sorry if he tried. Um, man, he's like, it happens. He's like, I, I've never seen anything like that. That was pretty damn coordinated. Yeah, that was. Um, so you take off down the caravan, rolling, checking on wounded. Um, what are you doing? Uh, looking through the cart, seeing what they may have took. Um, everything. No, you notice everything. You kind of hit you. You go there, Grizzly. You and Vesper, Grizzly, you're there. You look through everything. Almost everything they took was foodstuffs. Ah. Uh, also, the wagon up here with the asshole is so driving all the hardest because that's what he was carrying. They took all your cheese. Hey, food stuff. No, there's still some left. Oh, I mean, bag. he got, he's got, oh, my stuff is in my he, bag. the giant had like a keg. He's got like a giant keg of water. He's got a crate of rations, cheese, jerky, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. They took food. So they're trying to feed their stuff. You Did see, they take it here? still? Yeah, they took they part it up. Of I really, yeah, they took part of it. Yeah, they took part of it. Because like when he grabbed an armful, like he's grabbing an armful, he just took part of it with him. Um, Roland, you take off, you're healing some people. Um, would I know anything about what, what do you do? It's your turn. Uh, I'm, I'm running up to Kurds, okay, and I'm check see if he's wounded. If he's wounded, he's a little wounded, but she healed him. So I'll cast kill all wounds on him, and then I want to check on Grizzly. Grizzly's fine, he didn't take no hits, he ain't got to roll your dice out or anything. Uh, um, but yeah, you want a piece of cheese on my bag, then you're, you're right, this was very coordinated. Um, Grizzly's just kind of, he's like, I've never seen giants do anything like that. He's like, I'm not sure what Ford would know about giant nature, but I know, I know that Toil Giants start to eat everything. Um, everybody roll me a wisdom check. Wisdom? <laughs> not you. Yeah, yeah. I would like to say that while I'm out here healing, <laughs> right? And I'm With hearing everybody else listening, you know, what they're saying. You got it. Yeah, I got negative one. I'm mean, rolled twenty. An unnatural one. An un- so you got negative one? No, no. I wrote a two. Oh. Minus one. Oh, minus one. Okay. <laughs> we got. Uh, I had ten. Okay. Ten's good enough to know. You bring that up to him. You t- you know, talk to him. That was very coordinated. And something hits you. And you remember on your way to Baldur's Gate, and you've seen the dry grass. Oh, I don't remember if you were there. Right. I don't remember if you were there or not for that. I wasn't here for the session. Yeah, that's why I told but you I not to roll. But I did see that on the... Uh, yeah, that's why I told you not to roll. I'll tell, I'll tell Grizzly. I don't know if we told him that. We did tell him. I don't remember if you told him that. I think we did. Well, I'll bring I mean, you might have. I'm I'll just saying. I'll be like... No, I bet this has something to do with those guys. Told, uh, and you told some of the guys back at Baldur's Gate. Yeah. 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 Remember, because yeah. the Harpers went to the dog. We'll tell Grizzly about the giant racks that we saw on the river coming up. That, that was a few days out from Baldur's uh, He tells you he, he's very few rafts. Why would giants need to build rafts? Or trucks to float the river. But they were like just old old trees. They were but gigantic. He tells you could be trash giants. Don't ever move that far from their lairs. So that makes no sense. Maybe they're planning... You, being a dwarf, know such a thing, too. 
The giants aren't known. They're, I mean, they, they have their territory, but they don't move. Big rash, getting all these rashes. Maybe they're stealing a bunch of food for like a war that they're about to do. What if you say that? If, grizzly looks at you like, don't say that, man. What you if don't just, say such a thing. Stupid. What if they're in with? Don't say it. I'm not there. Oh. I can't. I can't be like. Oh. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. I don't want to say it because Grizz is here. Even what did I do with this 20 long ago? Or did, I just did he just say, what if there were those guys? Yeah. He says, who we talk about? I bet we're not at liberty to discuss it. What not? He says, uh, um, being pulled up. He says as they your they employer, they were told that <laughs> such things should be revealed <laughs> before I hired you. And you can tell he's not angry, but he's like, you need to tell me. It's just I'm from way down south, and there have been lots of attacks with kobolds and cultists attacking small towns, doing raids on villages. And this was some kind of raid, and it's unusual for giants, so it seems like they may be in cahoots with those guys. That's not good. No, no, not at all. Um... Tell me about this raid, and then you guys go on to talk about everything that yeah. happened. Do you even tell him about the cave you went in to? Yeah, we'll tell him about that. You tell him everything? Well, not, I mean, not technically. Tell me what you're going to leave out. I'm going to leave out anything that I think is. Hold up, you stop. Hold up. Now, what do you think about this? You're a Harper, too. Like, I'm not going to so, tell him. Okay. I would also like to point out that you're not here. out of their meeting. You're not here. I know. I know. They yeah, but. Me, so he can't give that information. I know, but. There's been a meeting since because you didn't play, so there's been other things that have been talked about. I'm just going to tell him about the attacks in the south and what we saw when we were down there. I'm not going to tell anything about him being a Harper or about us being on a mission to go anywhere. Yeah. I'm just going to tell him that what we've been seeing is just unusual things like this. It has to be in some kind of... There's a lot of focus attacks down south and... It seems a lot like... We've done these big huge <laughs> rash. They seem to be moving north. They seem to be moving north. Yeah, that's how... Roland here got his nasty scar. Okay. Um, everybody roll me perception, not you, because you're not here. We're about to get to you real quick. 13. 17. Sight or not? It's sight. Sight, okay. Yeah. <coughs> uh, you have a 15? I got 13. <coughs> Sorry. You have a 15? Uh, you got 17. Yeah, 17. Okay. You notice. Off here in the trees. Did you see the girl over there? No, is it? Was it you that seen the girl over there with Roland? No. Was no. It was, it was I saw it and I pointed it out. Okay. You notice I there's a girl it. hidden amongst the trees watching you. She's got her cloak pulled up over her head and she's watching you. She sees that you see her and you see her take off. I yelled for her. I said, I said, you don't need to run from me. I uh, she's help. like, you're here. She's like, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I mean, you're going to yell two wagons down. I still yell at her to let her know everybody like, like there's somebody in the trees listening. Um, you do that, the wizard in front of you takes a spell and he holds out his hand and all this ice just rains down into the trees. Holy Well, yeah, he ain't taking no chances. Right? Yeah. I mean, I understand, but... And I didn't, I've, I've never seen that girl yet. The first time I saw her hiding like that. Oh, I haven't seen that girl. I was just saying, hey, there's a girl watching us. I was trying to get a kill on that. Yeah, but you don't know if it hit or not. You just seen it take off. <coughs> off where she was. Um, Roland, you go down the caravan um, offering some healing. Uh, there have been some people that did not survive this. Um, since you had left, everything you keep hearing is from some of these guys is uh, that was too coordinated. Because a lot of these people have come up and down this road, and that's what you hear, and then people are scared. So everybody's in consensus this was this court, court. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever answer the question that mess messaged you? Yeah, about, uh, you the did. Hawk? Yeah, you had it all. <coughs> Would you like to uh, <clears throat> pull out quill ink parchment and? Uh, Make a report of this mm -hmm. 
and sent him out to Waterdeep to find Thea and inform her, her and the rest of the people there about this with the trade caravans between the two cities. Being All attacked right, so by coordinated giants. You're on a small message. Tell the hall, head to Waterdeep, which that's where you're going anyways. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up right here. It's been this session of BH and War Reborn. Uh, hope everybody is pretty shocked by what just happened, just as much of the caravan. But